Good morning, Aquarius. Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge, huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy. Subscribe. Aquarius, you know the drill. This is a general energy check. Not going to resonate with all of you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, if this reading is not hitting, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. You can also get a live over the phone reading with me through the Your Harmonic Wave line, okay? So all that information and more is located in the description box. I have a card jumping out of the deck here, so let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Now... I just did Libra, and I wanted to do a reading on just you. I just want to see what's going on with your energy. But sometimes there's something or someone else in your energy, so whatever comes out, comes out, okay? But I really just want to focus on you, what's going on with your spirit, what's going on with Aquarius right now, what's going on with Aquarius, what messages do you have for them? Thank you for your clear and concise messages. My intention is that this reading reaches those that it is meant for, to provide them with clarity, healing, empowerment, and all good things. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love, your guidance, your support, and your protection as I reach upwards to connect. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so you got Ten of Wands in reverse. You got the Tower. Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense, makes sense, Aquarius. Woo, did you see the card jump out of my hand? It was actually two cards, Aquarius. So you got the Fool and you got Knight of Swords, and I'm taking them. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify. Spirit, please clarify Ten of Wands in reverse. Wow. Please clarify the power. Oh, this is two cards that came out together. Okay. There's a lot of money on the table, Aquarius. You focusing on your money? A lot of pentacles here. Spirit, please clarify the fool and knight of swords. Some of you dropped a burden in the past. You could have dropped a burden or you're doing that now, okay? Because time is an illusion. The only thing that matters is now. Something could have been stressing you out, weighing on you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you have relieved yourself of other people's problems, okay? It's like you were trying to work with somebody and plant seeds with somebody who was doing nothing. This is like trying to build something with someone who has no intentions of putting in any work in. Okay, so you drop that. Some of you, you could have been dealing with a dead ass leech here. Okay, I'm hearing deadbeat. That goes for masculine or feminine energy. It doesn't matter. But somebody was a leech. Somebody was out for whatever they could get from you. Now you kept trying to plant seeds with someone and wait for your ships to come in and but whoever you were dealing with, they were lazy and they wanted rewards without putting the work in. Someone cared a lot about how things looked. Aquarius, you made someone look really good. You could have taken really good care of somebody while they were doing nothing. They were just sitting cushy on their ass doing shit. Mm -hmm. You dropped them. Good. This is somebody who's um, stressful and a burden. Someone was a whole burden on you. You could have felt like you were dealing with your child. Mm hmm Wow, okay. Spirit, please clarify three of coins. What's this three of coins about? I keep hearing man child, yeah. Aquarius, it's like you realize that you if you were going to get to where you needed to be, you had to let go of people that weren't helping you get there. Right? It's like you knew that you were supposed to be living better than you were, or you're supposed to have more than you had at the time. 
you had to make peace with yourself about the fact that you had to separate from someone or some things or maybe a way of doing or being, right? It's like being overly giving or continuously trying to work with people that they're too much work and not enough to work with. Spirit, please clarify three of wands. Some of you just had to accept the fact that you're going to have to put in some work to do something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever you dropped, Aquarius, or whoever you dropped, I feel like you're a lot better off for it. I feel like you feel good about yourself more. Um, it's more accepting. So this is someone who has forgiven themselves, forgiven the person or the situation, and just accepted things for what they are. That it's it's better to appreciate yourself. Aquarius, you're a lot more appreciative of yourself now. Yes, you are. It's just, I feel like you're starting to see what you're capable of. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's like you know that you can create something, you can build something, you can handle something. Because for a lot of you, you are taking on other people's problems and burdens and stresses, helping other people solve their problems. So you, it's like you just shifted that and started putting that energy into yourself and taking care of what you need to take care of for yourself. Someone you could have started a business and you're so happy that you did because it's starting to grow. It's going to help you to come out of not having enough. That could be a lack mindset, lack mentality, a scarcity mentality. Um, it's going to help you to feel more stable in yourself as well, more secure. Spirit, please clarify nine of coins. Yes, it's going to help you to give to yourself. And um, this is like being a peaceful warrior. So you're fighting. I'm hearing it's like fighting a day-to-day -day battle of, you know, just living. Life is challenging. But Aquarius, I feel like you are learning how to let go of things that are not serving you, things that are weighing you down, so you can focus on what you need to do for yourself so that you have the strength to work on the things that you need to work on for yourself. Uh, whoever I'm speaking to, you could have started a business or you learned some new art or trade or craft and you are doing something with it. Mm -hmm. And it is going to help you to give back to yourself now. It's good. You're helping, you're learning how to help yourself, right? That's good. That's really good. And some of you, you drop somebody who is always expecting you to help them out. Give to them. Forgive them. Mm -hmm. And just work with them. Somebody who always expected you to solve their problems. You drop someone like that. That's good. Now, uh, with the tower here, this was a drastic change. Abrupt ending. Mm -hmm. It's funny because you seem to be in this kind of gentle energy. But when you were dealing with someone, you weren't. <laughs> Aquarius, no, you weren't. Mm -hmm. Someone gave you a lot of empty promises. They had no intention of keeping anything that they said, keeping their word, doing anything that they said they were going to do. I feel like you called someone out finally, Aquarius. Spirit, please clarify. Um, Ace of coins, sorry, page of coins in reverse. Yeah, you weren't using your intuition with somebody who was lying to you. A lot of false promises here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to help you with that. We're going to do this. They did jack shit. They did nothing. Mm-hmm. So please clarify two of coins. Yeah, you were deluding yourself, thinking that you were going to be able to um, take care of your life, Aquarius, and help this person take care of theirs. So it's like, no, your number one priority is yourself. You can't help anyone until you help yourself. Let this person go and deal with their stuff and you deal with yours, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify nine of swords. Because some of you, you weren't, you weren't even in a position to help somebody. Not yet. You will be. And this could have delayed you if you wanted to start a business or something. You always had to take the extra money that you had that you could have used for capital to invest in what you needed to invest in to help this person out of some jam they got themselves in or some bill that they racked up or something that they needed. As far as like, no, take your resources and energy, uh, money is energy, 
and invest it in yourself. You can't help anyone until you help yourself. You have to put yourself in a position to help somebody. And with someone around Aquarius, it was like they were eroding your stability and your security because you're always taking what you needed for yourself to help them. This person never did anything. They were a leech. Spirit, please clarify nine of swords in reverse. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are learning. Look at this. This is beautiful. You know what happened, Aquarius? You had some spirit had to step in and show you one, two thing here. <laughs> spirit had to make something very clear to you that you need to be focused on what you're doing for yourself. You cannot help anyone until you help you. I feel like you stopped deluding yourself about being someone's captain, save them or captain, save a hoe or whatever, right? Because you're learning that you can manage other areas of your life when you are focused on you. Mm -hmm. It's a lot easier to do that. Now you have the Fool and Knight of Swords. So you are, you're rushing towards a new, and I like this. You're seeing clearly now, like I, like this tower moment gave you a wake up call. I feel like I'm hearing long overdue, much needed. And it's good. It was really good for you, Aquarius, because you're taking a leap of faith. You're moving with clarity now on what it is that you want to do for yourself. You've taken a long time to think about things, do some introspection mm -hmm, on how to gain your stability and your security. A lot of you, you realize that you have to be stable and secure with yourself first before you try to get that from a relationship. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. Someone is taking a leap of faith here. And they're doing it with clarity. I feel an excitement towards you. Like, yes, I'm finally doing this. And you're going for it. You're going for the gold. The gold I'm hearing, you're taking that plunge. You have a lot of faith. You spent a lot of time with yourself, Aquarius. And it just has allowed you to cultivate a lot of faith. You're learning how to walk by faith and not by sight. And this is beautiful, okay? This is you trusting the universe, trusting source that they got you. Mm-hmm. Spirit, please clarify four of wands. Yes. Uh, yeah. And you're no longer giving to situations that are not giving to you. You realize that you can't build a home with someone if they're not helping. You're realizing that stability in a relationship takes two people and you're tired of doing everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Spirit, please clarify. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah. Some of you could have been in an interracial relationship or the person that you're with was very different from you, but I feel like you're moving away from feeling stuck to someone or feeling blocked. Mm -hmm. Some of you Aquarius, you could still be with this person. You're about to tell them that you're leaving. Mm -hmm. You're about to throw up your hands and tell them that you're done and you can't do this anymore with them. And this is going to bring balance back into your life because something was not, it wasn't fair. Okay. You were doing way too much for somebody and they were doing nothing. If they were doing anything at all, this is someone who was doing the bare minimum. Okay. Throwing you breadcrumbs, giving you empty promises while you're carrying the load and trying to hold up the bridge of the relationship. You said, fuck that spirit said, no, that's not a relationship. You might as well be by yourself. You'll be better off. Mm -hmm. But you separating from someone, you could tell someone. And I feel like, I don't even feel like you're going to be rude. Like you, you could roast the shit out of someone if you wanted to. But I feel like you may have gotten to this place or you will be getting to this place where you're just so happy to, to just be done with something. You're just going to tell someone that you don't want to be with them anymore. <laughs> right? Yeah. You're not giving to a situation. You're not giving to a relationship anymore. Mm-hmm. Because the stability in the relationship, Aquarius, came from you. It's like you were enough for the both of you. And now you're realizing you could have even more if you just separated from someone who keeps trying to pull you down. Mm -hmm. Your life could be way more comfortable. And a lot of you, you're going to see a drastic change in your finances when this person's gone. Because they're not leeching off of you anymore. Or using you. Mm hmm you could realize that just being around someone was 
you couldn't work with this person because the way how they view things, the way how they do things is just, it's really different from yours. And it's, it's actually counterproductive to the way how uh, to progress for you. Yeah. To the way how you do things. This person would talk a lot of shit to you too, to try to get you to stay. They always bring, um, it's like third party interferences. This doesn't have to be anything romantic. This could be friends and family. I'm hearing someone say, oh, my mom says to do it that way. Or so then go live with your mom. <laughs> my mom says to clean it that way. Or my mom would cook it this way. So then go live with your mother. <laughs> right, Aquarius? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone also, I feel like for a time, Aquarius, you weren't listening to your guides. Your ancestors, um, they were trying to get you to, um, I feel like you're listening now. I feel like you're just saying, fuck it, okay. If I need to get rid of this person or give this up or do something differently, then that's what I'm going to do. Because I feel like for a while they were trying to get your attention. And you could have just been so full focused and so enamored and absorbed in trying to get something going with somebody or keep some maintain something that you weren't really paying attention. I don't feel like you're doing that anymore. There's divine intervention here with this tower. Spirit said, no, you're going to learn today and you're going to listen today. I'm glad that you are, Aquarius, because this is really for your, your highest good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Spirit, can I get some last words of guidance and advice for the beautiful Aquarian Collective? Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to listen, Aquarius. Um, faith. Have faith. You can trust the universe. You can trust source, whoever that is for you. You can trust. They're not going to lead you astray. Spirit is not going to lead you into anything that's going to hurt you. You have free will. It's your choices and your decisions. They've really been trying to lead you into calmer waters, a place where you can grow or you can grow um, from love, love for yourself, surrounding yourself by people who genuinely care about you and are pouring into your cups. They're nurturing, they're nourishing. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get you to move into that space, that energy. You have to have that energy to move into that space. Mm -hmm. They're trying to help you to bring balance into your life. They just want you to believe. Believe that you can. Mm -hmm. So where can I get some last words of guidance and advice for Aquarius, please? Thank you. Yes, look, Libra got the same thing. Door to value in reverse. Close the door on things and people that are not adding value to your life. There's a lot of money on the table here, Aquarius. Whoever you are dealing with or people you are dealing with, they were bleeding you dry, okay? Always helping them out, paying bills, taking care of that for them. Spirit's like, no, it's not supposed to be like that. People are supposed to help you out too, you know? Especially if you're in a relationship and you're both supposed to be doing it. Someone can lend you a helping hand from time to time. This is this situation was not value. It's not. It wasn't valuing you, and it wasn't an asset for you. It was a liability. So spirits like, listen, man, this this person or these people, they gotta go. Or this way of being and doing. Look at this. You got third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. This is putting your energy and time into things that are gonna do something for you. Okay, add to your life in a good way. For some of you, this is spirit saying, focus on your money. Focus on your shmoney. Don't focus on these people. Don't focus on these things. Get yourself together. Get your stability. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Caring connections. Focus on people that actually care about you. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you start shifting your focus to yourself and loving yourself and taking care of yourself and fixing up what you need to fix up in your life, Aquarius, you're going to find that a lot of people are attracted to that energy. You're going to have some caring connections in your life. This is romantic. This is plutonic. Some of you, I'm hearing brother from another mother, okay, sister from another mother. So you're going to be meeting people who are not blood family, but they are very much family to you. This is soul tribe mm -hmm, energy. Yeah, soul family energy. You're just going to start attracting people that resonate with your frequency, and it's all love because what you were in before, well, no, that wasn't it. This was, I'm going to use you for whatever you have. I'm going to use you to take care of me. 
I'm going to bleed you dry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lie to you and keep gaslighting you and making you think that I'm going to do something and giving you empty promises. Spirit's like, no, once you close this door, start focusing your energy on yourself. You're going to, you're going to see who you attract now. So much better. So much higher vibrational. Caring connections. These people actually care about you because the person you were with before or the people that you had around you before, they did not care. Mm -hmm. They just cared about what you can do for them, how you could benefit them. Spirit said, no, this stops now. Look at this. Yeah. Once you start focusing your energy, be able to, you will be able to uh, manifest your wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. But it's about you knowing what you want, knowing who you are and knowing what you want for your life and just aligning yourself with those things. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you are going to um, get into some kind of connection with somebody. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I just want to pull one more spirit. Can I get one more? Yes. Aquarius, you need to get some rest. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to relax, take it easy. You've been working really hard. And for some of you, that's why spirit said with this 10 of wands in reverse, drop these burdens. You've been working really hard for a long time on something with someone or trying to maintain something. And spirit's like, no, this was not wish fulfillment for you. Give it a rest. Let it go. Focus on yourself. Someone, you need to get some sleep or just relax. So this is not putting in too much brain power or spirit wants you to just lay on the couch and chill. Okay. Or lay in your bed, close your eyes, rest your eyes. Do things that are relaxing to you. Read a book, watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Because it's being in this, I'm hearing softer energy where you're going to be able to manifest easier. Mm -hmm. Manifest what you really want. I feel like you taking some time for yourself as well is going to help you to get clear on what it is that you really want. What, what is true happiness for you, Aquarius? Spirit wants you to take some time to think about that, but do it in a way where it, it's nourishing to you. Some of you, meditation is going to be very, very important for you. Spirit wants you to just stop. Stop talking. Stop watching TV. Stop, you know. Somebody's, you're binge watching stuff. Spirit wants you to just take a break and just be with yourself and do some meditation. Close your eyes and get quiet. This is, your answers are going to come from you on what true wish fulfillment is for you. So you can direct your energy and align with those things. Mm-hmm. Okay, Aquarius, this is what I have for you, honey. So if any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.